Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is your daily collective tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is happening towards you. What is the guided message uh, that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Scorpio sign, okay? Thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys for being here. This reading for today, this is what's meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for the Scorpio sign. It is valid for the next 30 days or the month of September. If I will be able to pick up a message outside of the September month, I will let you know, Scorpio. Let us see what's going to go with you, okay? What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign? Oh, why do you have the Tower card? Breaking news. You have the Tower card. You have the Queen of Cups in here. You've got the High Priestess. It looks like trouble in paradise. The Hermit card. You've got the Ten of Pentacles in here. You have the Nine of Cups in here. You have the Six of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles. This is really interesting. Okay, Scorpio, let's start the reading. Um, so in the past, there was a Tower card that up until this point, you have not forgotten the Tower card in here. Let's see. The Tower card in here, it really, it could be a person, a relationship, but the Tower card, this is something that was so difficult to handle, okay? This breakup is a falling apart, you know? The Tower card is things, the foundation is very faulty. Like imagine a building, the foundation is very faulty. And if the foundation is faulty, it will go to a tower. It will crack, okay? So it looks like there was something in the past that it led to a breakup. It led to a falling apart. It led to something that was so painful to bear. Queen of Cups, because it's it's directly connected to your feelings. You know, the Queen of Cups in here. Let's see. It looks like karma, Scorpio. It looks like you, there's something in here that you paid the karma, or it was a karmic situation. Yep, lesson learned. There was a very, for some of you, this is dating back last year, okay? Um, this is like a skeleton in the skeleton in the closet, Scorpio. But the Tower card, the Libra card, the Hermit card, these are really, I would say, this is a major flop. You know, that's a major, you know, the Tower card, this is, you went to rock bottom. You know, you, like you hit rock bottom and then balance and then lesson learned so we can say that it was a karmic thing that something needs to be something needs to go and because that thing or situation ship was taken from you you did because the queen of cups you were evaluating why am i getting all of this pain or hurt because you involve yourself scorpio into a situation or a person where the foundation is very faulty. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Something tells me that it was, I'm really hearing the word, you could have survived it, but it would, it would still go to a tower card because though it went to a breakup, a falling apart, there's a lot of things that happen into your life after that, I would say. Like, there was there was this very thing, This there was this very person or situation where it led to a tower. Although you break up or separated or even though it did not go the way you wanted 
you want it to be scorpio because this remains to be a very hurtful or a very unfor unforgettable i would say going towards this kind of tower it's something that emotionally it took you a lot of time it took you a lot of time to heal but you did heal and you become more rich you know the ten of pentacles like this is a reading where okay the universe took this away from you but the universe also made you rich you know like it's a metaphor because the high priest is here it's a metaphor to say that we did give you some heartache but we also gave you some other important richness or offer so it balances it off with the justice card the hermit card the high priestess like yep you did went to a tower but there's still a lot of reason to be thankful because there's a lot of grateful things that took place you're still alive scorpio so lots of things to be grateful yeah you are a scorpio i would say let bygones be bygones with this you know the tower card it's a breakup it break up like it's a reading where what can i do it has already happened it was a karmic situation it was somehow you knew somehow you knew scorpio that you're going to lose that there's something in here that the very big the very it was the happiest it was something you feel very like it made you feel whole you know like it made you feel there was a gain like you you gain you gain from the situation you, there was so much you did experience that then you know it means that it was an ultimate it was um it was a very happy feeling it was abundance it was the time of your life where you would say i have enjoyed it i have liked it so much but the foundation was very faulty so it went away um you survived scorpio i would say with the high priestess you have survived yeah you're strong this reading this reading is reminded you that this reading is to remind you that you are such a strong force you're a powerful person Whatever difficulties that you have experienced in the past, you have outgrown it. You become more intelligent in here. You've got a 10 again. So this is a huge closure. Something tells me, Scorpio, that there's going to be a huge, a major closure of some sort. And then you're going to enter a very, very big opportunity. It It's equivalent to the 10 because this is a... Re you know, this tower card, you've lost a ten of pentacles. You've lost some core people or core offer or situation. You've lost something so special, something so important. But with the high priestess in here, it's now time for you to receive the replacement. And what you've lost then is also what you're going to gain. The 10. And you are the happiest. You know? Look at that. Scorpio. Yes, look at that. The happiest. Let's see. Um, let's look at the Hermit card. Yes, the Empress card. I feel... You could be feeling impatient, Scorpio. You could be... You could be feeling impatient about what's coming for you you've lost this you've lost a very important person or situation in your life death card and you work hard ten of wands to get back on your feet okay this is a reading where you've lost something and you pick up yourself and you pick up yourself and you work hard to be back on track to be a Scorpio again, to be living, loving life. It took you a while, you know, Ten of Wands. But I would say kudos to you, credit to you. 
you're back on your feet. Sometimes you would lay in bed and think of this tower card, this breakup, this falling apart, this thing, this core person or core situation that you've lost. And you can really say to yourself that I am a, you know, I am a survivor. There's a part of you that you're sad because you still want it. But somehow with the high priestess, it's telling you that the replacement is coming. Like this is a reading where it's telling you, you have lost or you did not get it or something was taken away from you for a good reason. It might have hurt you, but you know that there is a good reason on why it was taken away from you. And that reason will unfold very soon. You've been waiting. The Hermit card, the Empress card, can't complain. Like the Hermit card, the Empress card, life is so good. You know, you've survived. Healthy, healthy, wealthy. Wow. So you've learned a great deal in the last 10 months. You're very, very grateful. You're at the point of your life where you're the Empress. I'd say wealth and health is good. You know, you've got more than what you want in life. Maybe you don't know that, but let me remind you that you're not basic, Scorpio. I tell you, whoever you are, you're not basic, Scorpio. You're more than, you have more value than you ever think, Scorpio. You have more value than you ever think. So you're not basic. Now, since the universe took away something from you, all of the planets, they're in retrograde. The thesis, I feel like, hmm, there are some karmic things that you did not get. Now it's time for you to get the karmic reward because you've been good. I believe that there is some sort of reward system in there. Yeah, I believe in that. If someone did you wrong, someone wasn't nice to you, someone break your heart, you know what? There is a good karma karming you karma coming your way you've lost 10 you will exactly get the same thing that you lost and it's more valuable it's like imagine if you buy a gold okay that's a bad example uh forget about that <laughs> but look at that 10 9 and 10 of cups your replacement is coming scorpio the 10 of pentacles this is what you lost it could be the same person it could be the same person that you are going to get it back. It could be the same person. It could be the same person that you will get it back. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Wait. Yeah, and there's another Queen of Pentacles in here, Scorpio. Look at that. This is so in synchronicity. I tell you, I want you to really prepare because you are at the receiving end in the month of September. Those that you feel like it was a big missed opportunity, no, it's not. No, it's not. It was meant for you to have a taste. And because you like it, the universe decided like, okay, I'll give you something better. But first, you might feel sour or bitter. You know, there's some bitterness in there. But I know you, Scorpio. I trust you. You're one of the best sign in terms of death and rebirth and now this is a month very soon hopefully you know hopefully it's around because we're you know we're gearing towards mercury it's going to be out of retrograde and then we got a, a a very healing full moon oh sorry new moon there's a new moon it's very healing and this is where you're going to start to pop you know this is where you're going to start to see all of the love you lost, it will come back. All of the money you lost, it will come back. All of those people you lost, it will come back to you. So by the end of September, you are going to be very rich in love, in money, in attention, in respect, in energy. This is a full blast of rewards, Scorpio. This is like a reading where you've been good. Now we're going to give you Scorpio. Then nine, Queen of Pentacles. You sit back and relax. You know, the universe is telling you. You sit back 
and relax because we are going to blast you with so many offers that you wouldn't have time to breathe. It's exciting. It's a thrill. Look at that. Ten, money, and happiness. And six of cups. Once this is activated, you feel like six of cups. Oh, well, now I know whatever took place in the past, it was part of my journey. And the universe always looks after me. That is why, you know, whenever pain or hurt or betrayal or disappointment comes into you, you just have to survive it. Like, you know, it's part of life. You have, this is a reading where you have passed a lot of, the universe gave you a lot of challenges and you pass all of it. Now, if you pass 10, you know, if you have, if there was 10 challenges and you pass it, now is the month where you're going to get all of the rewards, the bonus, okay? Because you are a survivor, you never gave up. So if, like this is a reading where if there's going to be a delay, it would be if you're pessimistic. So right now, I want you to be optimistic because there's so many rewards coming your way. If you want to attract it quickly, you need to be good vibe, good spirit, and positive. It's coming your way, Scorpio. Okay? So, this is like a classic reading where this was this took place only to take you to the best offer with S, best offers. All righty? So, witness something so grand, Scorpio. Embrace it. Enjoy it. And... That is me, Scorpio. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you would like to further connect with me, click the bell. Click subscribe. Thank you for the coffee. Thank you for the love notes. I will see you soon. You have a great day.